Hi everyone, this is Fida Master Charles Galofre uh, with chess.com and today I'd like to talk to you about opening principles. Um, by the end of this lecture, hopefully you'll have a much better understanding on how to play the beginning phase of a game and also just better explanations and illustrations on a lot of the rules that uh, you just uh, don't understand. So, uh, one of the things that uh, I think should be explained to kind of understand the dynamics of the pieces and uh, the struggle that's going on between white and black in the opening phase of the game is to understand uh, the board. And the reason why that is is because the first thing that needs to be pointed out is that white actually controls half of the board. Okay, and that's white sign. And for blacks, it's uh, everything from the fifth rank to the eighth rank. Okay, so they both share an equal amount of space. Now, uh, the second thing that needs to be understood is the relationship of the pieces uh, compared uh, to the board. And the way we do that is to observe a piece on a center square. And the center squares, just to uh, point that out, are these four squares right here. Okay. So by placing a piece in a center square, we realize that the piece actually uh, could move to eight squares in this case. And if we place the knight on the A1 square, it could move to two squares. Uh, the piece can move to 13 squares, and here it moves to 6 squares. Now, by following that exercise, if we place every single piece in the center, and on the corner of the board, we realize that the closer a piece is to the center, the more squares it can move to. Okay, So what do we learn about the pieces in relation to the board and the center? And that's that the closer the pieces are to the center, the more squares it can move to. And the value of a piece is judged by the amount of squares uh, or possibilities it has. So the closer the pieces are to the center, the more value that uh, the more valuable they are. Okay. Now, with that said, uh, I could say that a great chess player uh, said that um, the player who controls the center, in essence, controls the game. Okay. Now, now that we understand that both sides control an equal share amount of, of, of space and that uh, the closer their pieces are to the center, the more squares the pieces cover. So in other words, the more space they control, then we can start explaining as to uh, what's going on. You see, the first moves in a chess game are really a battle of space and time. Um, what you're trying to do is to develop your pieces as quickly as possible and you're trying to gain as much space as possible in your opponent because we could really say in an abstract way that a chess game is uh, is a game of timing or of time we hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.